All right, guys, so some interesting news just came out, and Rodney Gunter, uh, defensive end that the Jaguars signed to a three-year deal in 2020 free agency. He did not opt out. He has not been placed on the IR. He has actually been diagnosed with some kind of severe heart condition, and he will be stepping away from football and no longer playing. It's been a really weird offseason for the Jaguars because, you know, there are four guys that the Jaguars, you know, signed in the 2020 free agency period that will not be playing with the Jaguars. I mean, one of them was a weird case. It was Darquez Denard where the Jaguars were officially signed to a deal, or not officially, but you know how it goes where Ian Rappaport tweets it out and it's pretty much a done deal. But, you know, there were some specific terms of the deal that they could not come in terms with and they, you know, weren't able to kind of lock them up. Uh, so that was a cornerback. And then we've had we've had two more opt-outs with Rashawn Melvin, a, another cornerback, and then also with Al Woods, a defensive lineman, a defensive tackle more specifically. Um, both of them opted out. And then now uh, Ronnie Gunter has a heart condition. And it's definitely not ideal, especially at a defensive line position, because... You know, when you're talking about what the Jaguars' weaknesses are and what could make them be bad this season, it's stopping the run. I mean, if you're not able to stop the run, you're not going to be able to win many games. And, you know, at the moment, the Jaguars really did not do much to do, you know, to really stop that, or to help that position. So there's some guys that need to step up. Obviously, you know, the whole entire defensive line and with uh, Lorente McCray opting out, you know, I mean, like we're having to kind of plug some holes and we've, we've done some things. We signed Lynch from the, uh, from the Broncos. And then, um, it's looking like we're going to be signing Timmy Jernigan. I don't know when it's going to become official, but, um, I, I think it, you know, everyone's saying it's pretty much a guarantee that that will happen. Um, so, you know, it's, it's not ideal, obviously. I mean, it's not like these guys are all pro, pro bowl players kind of opting out. But at the same time, you know, they were in the Jaguars plans to contribute this year. And the Jaguars will have to do without them. So, you know, it's weird. I've never seen a situation where, you know, four guys that you come in terms with for agency all of a sudden not play for different reasons. Um, but, you know, it's just kind of the state of the team and, um, you know, we'll see if the Jaguars go out and try to do anything, whether it be via, you know, guys just sitting out there in free agency or if, uh, you know, or if they try to make a trade for, with the team. So, you know, all that's going on. I know you guys probably see all these. I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of a big painting project right now. I've got a bunch of these sales, you know, it's similar to this one, but I've actually sold a bunch of these. So, but I did, I, I guess a little on a side note, I did um make an extra jaguar head by accident so if any of you guys are in between orlando and jacksonville and you may want one of these um it's basically made of plywood as you can see um it's about four feet by four feet if you're if you're in between orlando and jacksonville hit me up and then you know if you're down to pay 150 for it you know one of these could be yours so just let me know other than that man a little side note there uh but you know that's what's kind of going on over here trying to trying to make a little bit of money before the season starts but uh but yeah let me know what you guys all think of this whole thing football season man we're four weeks away from the opening game against the colts i can't wait it's starting to feel real now but all right guys i'll catch you guys later go jacks